Hey, welcome back. Say hi to the people. Hi. Please. All right. Uh, so we just beat uh, the Goliath boss, and uh, we sacrificed ourselves for the greater good. Uh, now we're on the space station. Uh, on the moon, where all the humans, the surviving humans, uh, live now, because Earth is now inhabitable. Uninhabitable. Uninha- yes, that's what I meant. That's not what you said, though. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> Look at me zooming. Okay, zoom. Oh, it's 9S. So, okay, so, number two reason. That, huh? <coughs> Mass Effect is, is a disappointing game. It's the worst game of 2017. Uh, uh... Ryder is like yeah. likable, but like, what the for, fuck do they do to her face? <laughs> okay, this is different than like the fucking graphical issues. What the hell did they do to the facial animations? Because like half the time, your Ryder is like fucking like smiling when people are dead. Um, yeah, it's weird. The eyebrows glitch. The fucking do they even eye have eyebrows? The eyes. <clears throat> Uh, it's fucking glory to mankind. facial glory to mankind. animations. Glory to mankind. Yeah, I know. But like, it's okay, mankind. facial animations are like a cornerstone of a fucking emotionally driven game. You need to have like actual facial expressions. Half the time when I was like, especially when I was talking to PBA, PB has like no fucking change in facial expression whatsoever when you're talking to her. You noticed that. Because yeah. you were like, uh, is she supposed to be happy? Is she supposed to be sad? Is she angry at you? Is she constipated? We have no way of knowing. Because, like, there was, like, no change in her face at all. Nope. Which sucks. <clears throat> because, Absolutely fucking zero. Yeah, and as, like, an emotional game, like, it's supposed to be feeling something. When your characters are not feeling anything at all. When your all, character's sitting there and, like... Yeah, like it just. It's... Oh, we're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna learn the backstory of this game. I'm so basically, there's a lack of immersion. But yes, not in this game, but no. in Mass Effect. Yeah. Okay, so here's what happened, Bones. So aliens came to Earth one year, and they uh, set forth a, a robot rampage upon the planet, robot. murdering most of the population. So Earth became uninhabitable because of the aliens. So the surviving humans left the planet and created an outpost on the moon. So then from there, the humans created android combat droids to send to Earth in order to wipe out the remaining robots so that they could possibly take back Earth. That's the main plot line here. That's that's what happened. Oh. And Yorha, which is like the main military force with all the androids, they send droids to Earth to wipe out what remaining Understood. robots there are, so hopefully the humans can then take back their home planet. Oh, I but see. the the aliens aren't around anymore, but the robots still are. So the aliens came to Earth, just dropped a shit ton of robots, and were like, "Hey, see ya!" And then the robots wiped out most of humanity, and then what? The survivors went to the moon and created a colony there, and then made androids, and now it's like an android robot war for Earth. Can you hear me? I feel like I don't care. Why? I don't know. I feel like that wasn't engaging at all. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, go on with your Mass Effect. I know you're not oh, done. Oh, what? Number one. <laughs> number one. Huh. I Okay, and this is going to sound really <coughs> stupid when I say it. Yeah. But number one reason why Mass Effect was a disappointing game is I am a Mass Effect fan and that wasn't a Mass Effect game. Go on. That sounds stupid, didn't it? Go on, no, explain yourself. I am a fucking fan of Mass Effect. Like I've played all three of the original trilogy games like seven or eight times each. Yeah, you're fucking I have like six hundred plus hours in the original trilogy. Mass Effect is your favorite game series I ever. played through the entirety of Andromeda. I finished all the side quests. I pursued, I got all the loyalty missions done. I, you know, I'm friends with fucking everybody. I, you know, it did everything. And it just didn't feel like a Mass Effect game. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know why. 
But that's like the main reason I'm disappointed is because I'm a like huge Mass Effect fan and it didn't feel like a Mass Effect game. It felt like something else trying to be Mass Effect, like way too hard. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, I don't know. It felt like a different game with like Mass Effect lore just like copy and pasted into it and like different aliens and shit like that. I don't know. It just didn't feel right. You know what I mean? Wait a sec. Jelly bean. Restore those. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Good set of <laughs> you should probably do it I don't know. I think I know that, that sounds stupid, but it just didn't feel okay, like a real good. Mass Effect game for me. If things go wrong during an op, you I feel like something else just trying really, really it, hard so to be Mass Effect and kind of falling short. Adjustments, you can go like I still like enjoy. Anthem. I still enjoyed the game. It was a fun game. I liked the characters. The story was a lot better than Dragon Age Inquisition Morning. story to warrant like the kind of to warrant this thing. bullshit. But like I I enjoyed the game. I had fun with it. I started a second playthrough. I just like as a Mass Effect fan, I was just kind of disappointed that it wasn't like it didn't feel like it was a Mass Effect game. Indeed. You, you know. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Oh, oh, I can't the leave yet. The There's dialogue happening. Today. The one thing that I really Don't liked about it, though, not exactly known for our modesty. was the combat. Was the combat, yeah. It, it had really good combat. Like, I liked the, the, the progression yeah. from, like, typical Stop Mass Effect combat to, like, you got jump jets and shit. And like charge tags no and stuff so like formal. that with your jump jets. There's no I like that. There's no need to be so formal, Nines. You oh, silly no. goose. I almost forgot. You silly Billy. So yeah, those we are those are the five now. reasons, or I guess. You made me do five reasons, five. but they weren't really five reasons. Why? Uh, is there more than five reasons? No, but I didn't really have five reasons, so I had to kind of like figure it out as I went along. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can equip chips yet. Uh, what are chips? So I go over to skills, right? And I got these yeah. plug-in chips. They're basically like different skills that i can equip to my character oh. and you know androids you know chips you plug in you uh, learn something new uh, i'm just i'm just gonna see if i can like what what chips do i have equipped basically all my standard ones but let's see if i can uh put in some more chippy chips no not yet all right that's fine don't worry about it <laughs> <clears throat> come on nines Let's let's go see the commander. I thought his name was 9S. Yeah, but he's like, um, you know, so, some people call me Nines as like a nickname. You can do that if you want. And she's like, eh. Because <clears throat> she has no emotions. But she kind of does. That's the thing about this game. It has that, it has those like themes of like, oh, can machines actually feel? Yeah. And like the robot, the robots that are supposedly your mortal enemies, they all like feel emotions and they get scared when you showed up and you know, when their friends well, die, they get sad and... And this brings up another thing. This is why I'm so excited about um, Detroit. Yeah. Because I think it's going to explore this kind of thing really well in like a, a, a realistic, a more realistic setting. Yeah. Like this is slightly, this is like... This is more sci-fi. Yeah, than this I think. is more sci-fi. But like, I think that uh, Detroit is going to really explore like the moral dilemma of androids and um, robots and whether they're human, like well, not human, but like whether they can be considered people. Yeah. Whether they have emotions and feelings and stuff like that. Where the fuck did he come from? He, he just dropped from the ceiling. He's like, ta-da! I'm here now. <laughs> but yeah, I think Detroit's <coughs> going to explore that really well too. When does Detroit? When does Detroit come out next year? Uh, yeah, next year. I think it's going to explore that kind of thing really well though. Everything at Sony's conference was announced for next year. Yeah, I know. Fucking Sony. Oh, anyway. Oh, did you see that Nintendo also announced a new uh, Mario and Luigi game? Yeah, they're remaking uh, Superstar Saga. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bowser's Minions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're remaking the first one yep. with the engine from Dream Team, which yeah. I played Dream Team. It was a fucking good game. Yeah, everybody liked Dream Team. Yeah. Well, people just like Mario and Luigi to begin with. I yeah. heard that the best one is probably Bowser's Inside Story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Usually we can't get near which was on the original DS, but yeah. all of them are good. Like, there was one not too long ago with the Paper Mario crossover, Paper Jam. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that one. And then we also got a Paper Mario not too long ago. Fucking Paper Mario. Color Splash, which you know what I heard was not that bad. I heard it improved on a lot of the things that people didn't like about Sticker Star, 
But it still used the, like, ridiculous, stupid combat yeah. system. Do you think, and this is a topic of discussion, I guess, do you think that maybe they'll announce a proper Paper Mario for Switch Could at we some please? point in the future? I just want them to go back to the fucking Paper Mario formula. I don't want any of this fucking sticker shit or stamp shit. Like, do you think that maybe... Or um, bullshit. Do you think that maybe later on in the Switch's life cycle, they'll announce, like, a proper Paper Mario game in the style of, like, the original or a Thousand Year Door, where it's, like, actual turn-based RPG? I wish. Because, seriously, those are the... Those are the Paper Mario games that I like the most. Because Sticker Star was pretty shit. It was terrible. It was pretty shit. I couldn't even finish it. Yeah, I didn't finish it It either. was awful. I got um, to, like, World 2 or 3, and then I stopped playing it. But the funny thing is, is that, like... Also, here we are in the city. Yeah, I know. The funny thing is, though, about Nintendo right now is that they announced a... They're on a uh, fucking roll. Well, yeah, they are on a fucking roll. But they announced a Kirby game, and normally they don't announce the Kirby game until they're ready to phase out the console. <laughs> Well, there was a Kirby. There was a Kirby game on the Wii that yeah, was in like I 2011. Yeah, I know, but like Planet Robotobot or whatever the fuck it was called. Planet Robobot. Yeah, was like basically end of the life cycle. That was a 3DS game. No, they even out. They released it for Wii U. No, it was a 3DS game. Was it only a 3DS? The game? last three Which Kirby. Which one was the one that was for the Wii U then? That was the K Rainbow Curse. Oh yeah. The last three Kirby games have been fucking 3DS games. Like, the last three main Kirby games. I thought Planet of Robot, but whatever. No. The fuck it was. It was, it was 3DS. Why did I think it was for Wii U? Because you don't have a brain. Ha ha ha. You are a stupid uh, prick. I don't know, but, like, it just seems no, but to the, be a there theme was... that, like, they, uh, they released the Kirby game when they're ready to phase out the console. There was Triple Deluxe. Yeah. And then there was something after that. I don't really remember what it was. Yeah. Uh, and then there was Planet Robobot. 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 Yeah. Which I heard was actually the best Kirby game. Yeah, I heard that Planet Robobot heard was, was pretty good. Really fucking good. I played the demo on 3DS. Did you? Yeah, it was, it was alright. Oh! But, like, I didn't... The demo doesn't really give you a feel for it. Yeah, well, I mean, do most demos no. give you a real feel but, for the game? Um, Fucking Kirby mechs, basically. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. And I heard that the, the mechs actually added, like, something new to the gameplay. Yeah. Made it feel fresh, because, let's be honest, most Kirby games are basically the same thing. Well, they are. But I like the new one, because, like, um, it looks like they're going back it, to the um, Crystal Star, or the Crystal Shards thing. It looks like they're ma mishmashing a bunch of different shit together. Because there's, like, the... There's like the uh, computer ally elements of Superstar. There's the uh, power mixing elements of 64. It just looks like a bunch of different Kirby games mixed together. And also, here we are in the city. Uh, the city that's been destroyed by the robots. Oh. This is where we uh, perform most of our operations. Is this planet Robobot? Basically, yeah. <clears throat> because there's robots everywhere. Okay, so this is the main city where we um, explore and do our missions and shit. Is this like a hub world? Yeah, it's this is an open world game, dude. Oh. So this is our main uh, area. We You're all, not even standing on the ground. We go to a... Uh, yeah, kind of not. We also go to different areas, like a desert and places like that, but this is where we perform most of our missions. You're like floating. Is in this city. No, we're not. We're on yeah, the ground. Yeah, no, you're f like floating. 9S like is on the ground. Y'all look like you're floating a little Well, bit. you know what? We're magical androids, goddammit. I'm just god damn saying. It. I fucking told you. I fucking told you that would happen. Just you were, shut up. You were like, oh, my it's leg's fine. good. And then I, I knew it. I called it. Here, would you shut the fuck up? Here I am. God. Here I am, back again. God, oh, god shut that's a up. Here, Get out of this building. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. No, again, you're not, again. Shady. Look who's back. Get back, out of back. here. Call a friend. Stop friend, it. friend. What even is this place? This is like the skyscraper we landed our uh, oh. flight units on. Now we have to perform the rest of the mission on foot. So yeah, here's the city. It's a large city. It's very pretty, actually. It's kind of destroyed. Yeah, it's it's dilapidated it's and shit. Kind of ugly. Uh, but, wow. Wow! <laughs> what a massive... Uh. Anyway. Um, items. I don't think key items. I think I can... Yeah, I can swap out my fucking droid. 
because of the day one stuff. I can also wear this. Don't. I think I'm going to wear this. Please do not. I think I'm going to wear this. But, um, like, she's wearing a dress, a pretty, pretty dress. A pretty, pretty dress, and I can put a pretty, pretty bow on her. Can you? Yeah, I can. Eventually. But, oh. yeah, yeah, I made my droid into a book now. Uh, I'm so confused. It's a reference to the first Nier, because your, your droid in that game was a book. Oh. I'm going to take this off now. Yeah, please. That was All right, so now I am actual person again, and on the next episode, we'll start we're exploring kill the some city. Elk. Yeah, we're gonna go kill these moose, these meese. God, I hate you. These three meese. Join us then. Three misos.